What's up, friends and family? Thank you for tuning in to my TED Talk. Not a TED Talk, but you know what I mean. But I just kind of wanted to talk to you guys about the process and the excitement and joy and the rejection and loneliness that has come through the choice of my career. That has come from the path that I have chosen. You know, Instagram and social media, we all know, shows and highlights the best part of everyone's life. I got booked for this really cool brand deal and it was incredible. Um, you know, I went on this trip and it was beautiful. But then social media doesn't really talk about the in-between days and about the day-to-day. -day. You're literally sitting alone in your apartment with my cat. And I think no one really talks about those days. No one really talks about the mental state that you're in when you're alone. And, and God, your mind can play so many tricks on you and it's so dangerous and easy to fall down a hole. I mean, I, I've spoken about it before. This past year has been, the amount of anxiety that I felt this year is more than I've ever felt in my entire life. I never knew what anxiety was. I didn't understand it. Like I was like, whenever anybody was like anxious, I was like, all right, chill out. I was like, have a drink. Like, it's okay. Like, I didn't understand it until I went through it and I continued to go through it. And holy crap, it's so real. I went through a lot of like rough, I think career downfalls this year and I mean, I moved to LA three years ago to work. I moved to LA three years ago to follow my dream of acting. And I don't think anybody prepares you for the amount of rejection that you go through. I don't think anybody prepares you for the amount of times that you're gonna be alone. The amount of support that I have is out of this world lucky. But you know, everyone has their own lives, like my brother, goes and works my Ben goes and work and then you know you have your moments that you're alone and you have your moments that you have nothing to do because those highlights on Instagram aren't every day and no one talks about that and it's so frustrating because those are the worst and hardest times no one thinks about the in-between days where you're hurting and you're lonely and you're you ah, it's so difficult to even explain or talk about without sounding silly or dramatic, but it's true. I am so grateful for my life and I'm so grateful for every experience and every moment that I've gone through, good and bad, because it's made me who I am. And I have grown tremendously in the past three years, but the amount of freaking hardships and, and just like real life shit, is crazy like and i signed up for it and this is a, the choice that i made those highs are so high that i would do anything to continue to feel them i would never give that up but i think people need to start talking about the lows too and showing that online and i know every single person in the world deals with that in some capacity <sighs> One of the biggest things that has been really hard for me in the past three years of living in LA and trying to accomplish this goal that I have of acting has obviously been the amount of rejection that one deals with. The amount of auditions that I have gone to, countless, countless. And I'm so grateful because that's a huge step to just get into the room and like have that opportunity to stand in front of a casting director and show yourself is very very lucky and I'm very grateful for that but it also comes with a lot of pain and a lot of um rejection and I've tried I I, I take acting classes and I love them and I've, I've grown a lot but like sometimes it just takes a while to happen and like it's it's not easy auditions are so hard and they're so painful because you meet so many people and you have to do so much small talk and you have to impress and try your best to be in front of so many people and then still you don't hear anything back so that was that's really hard for me and i don't think anybody really talks about <clears throat> that about being in the room and and the pain that comes with it just like the joy and the 
the luckiness that one has to meet these people that are so talented and so bright and so creative you know and like getting to 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 show yourself in front of them is awesome but it's hard it's especially because you know you're over here going on social media comparing yourself to other people and being like oh they're doing this and they're doing that but like that's not that's not life life isn't like everyday great things life is hard sometimes in this life that i have chosen and everyone in my life around me in la has chosen you don't know shit you literally don't know where you're gonna be in a month you don't know where you're gonna be in a year and you have no freaking clue where you're gonna be in five years like the amount of instability that there is in this career choice is insane and it's has anxiety written all over it and it has stress written all over it like you don't know what's coming and so that keeps you up at night because you're like i you know i can't be like doing all these things or i can't be like i need to be focusing more or i need to be like even though you're can you can be doing everything right but it's just not your time to be booked that role or it's not your time to book that job and so you're stressed out because no one really gets it because you only see the you know the beauty around it and what what we decide to show and it's not that's not everything i think mental health has become such a problem in the few, past few years it's so real it's so so real and it's it's only getting worse because social media is awesome and it's great and you learn so much and you're exposed to so many beautiful things and places and and people but then you're also non-stop comparing yourself to other people and their lives and that fucks with your head it literally is crazy like you can be in a beautiful island in the middle of nowhere with the people you love and then you go on instagram and you see that this person is at this event and you wish you were i am back in la in this event we don't ever look around and just look and feel and like appreciate anymore like it's so hard for us to do that now because we're so distracted by this this thingy right here ah, life i have really freaking felt this in the past months and so i just wanted to talk to you guys about that everyone deals with insecurities and self-esteem issues and and comparing and, and a sense of, of of sadness i know i just went on a rant and i apologize actually i don't apologize at all um i honestly wanted to talk i just wanted to talk and listen if you don't deal with any of this good for you i'm freaking jealous but I know, I know that social media has caused this in a lot of people, including myself. And not only social media, but I think growing up and, you know, getting like the adult stresses that one gets once you have to do these adult things. And I think that's hard. And you live and you learn, you know, like you're going to fuck up and then you just got to get back up and do it again and et cetera and do it again. So I really do think we need to start being more, more aware of people's feelings including on social media. Rude comments are never okay and are not necessary whatsoever. So grow a pair to all those people that are commenting rude shit on people's Instagram for no reason. Grow up. Everyone can have their goals and their passions. And, but at the end of the day, I think we're all human and we seriously, seriously need to start being better to each other in every way. All right. <laughs> That's all I got for you guys. <laughs> Honestly, if you watched all of this, I love you. And thank you guys for watching. Thanks, guys. Um, 